Hello dear students and welcome in our biology session. So we are discussing our lesson body movement. In this lesson already we have discussed some point. So today we will move for the next point from the same lesson and today's point name is joints. What is mean by joints? Bones are joined to each other at different places. The place where two or more bones join is called a joint okay so in our body there are the 206 bones and each bone or that all the bones are connected with each other okay and that place is only called as for joint so the place where two or more bones join that place is called joints so how the bones are joined to each other bones are joined to each other by tough flexible bonds of elastic tissue called ligaments okay so the bones are connected with each other through the tough flexible bonds of elastic tissues and with that name of the tissue is what ligaments what is mean by the tissues when the number of cells when the same uh, type of the cells comes together then it forms the tissues okay so with the help of these ligament tissues the bonds are connected to each other and that place is called as what joint next one the ends of the bones forming a joint is lined with a layer of tough and elastic tissue called cartilage So, the ends of the bones or the place where the bones join, that end of the bones are lined or the covered with the layer of tough and elastic tissue and that elastic tissue is called as what? Cartilage. Okay. So, don't get confused here. What is meant by the ligaments? Ligaments, it is also the one type of the elastic tissue which helps to join the two bones. And what is meant by the cartilage? Cartilage, it is the one type of the tough and elastic tissue layer which is present at the ends of the bones okay and the name of the tissue is what cartilage so why like this the end of the bones is having layer of cartilage because this cartilage makes the end of the bone smooth and reduce friction between the bones during movement so this cartilage acts like a lubricant or act like a oil which reduce the friction okay and makes the movement smooth so cartilage makes the end of the bone smooth and reduce friction between the bones during movement so sometimes you have seen that some machines are making some noise so to reduce that noise we are using the oil and after putting the oil on it it uh, it uh, runs smoothly or it uh, stops the making noise that is only it acts as what lubricant in that same way this cartilage is act like a lubricant in our bones which makes the movement smooth and reduce friction so this cartilage are also present in our other parts of the body the cartilage are present in the upper part of the ear and the front part of the nose so this is about what joints now we'll discuss about the types of joints so basically there are the three main types of the joint that are immovable or the fixed joint movable joints slightly movable joints and freely movable joints so these all the joints we are going to see deeply one by one let's start with the immovable or the fixed joint from the names only we can come to know immovable or the fixed means what immovable means the joint which does not show any movement or they are fixed that joints are called as what immovable or fixed joints so these joints do not allow any type of the movement between the bones and for very well known example of the immovable or the fixed joint is what our skull so the bones of the skull are interlocked with each other they are held together by fibrous cartilage which do not allow any movement so in our previous part of the videos we have discussed about the skull so skulls are having different number of the bones it is it has the 22 number of the bones and all that bones are interlocked with each other with the help of the fibrous cartilage and because of that fibrous cartilage it is 
uh, it is uh, not possible for the bones to do the any movement it means what they do not allow any movement but there is one exception in this skull bone except the lower jaw okay so we have seen in our previous video that lower jaw can do the movement means from all the bones of the skull only the lower jaw can do the movement why to speak properly and to chew the food properly okay so it is the first example of the immovable or the fixed joint that is what skull and is the first type of the joint let's move for the next type of the joint that is nothing but what <coughs> slightly movable joints so slightly means what it allows the little movement due to why it allows the little movement because in this type of the joint there is a presence of pads of flexible cartilage between their ends so these joints allow the very little movement because presence of a pad of flexible cartilage between their ends so between at the end of the bones where the bones get joined to each other at that place there is a pad of flexible cartilage for this type of the joint we can say that one example that is what this type of the joint present between adjacent vertebrae in the backbone or spine okay so this type of the joint is present in the vertebrae in the backbone or spine and that is the reason our backbone can do the slight movements or slightly movements this kind of joint provides more support so this slightly movable joint provides the more support so as we know all the parts of or the all the bones are connected to the backbone we have seen in our some previous videos so in this way what we can say that the slightly movable joint does not allow the more movement it allows very little movement why because there are the presence of pad of flexible cartilage between their ends and which allows only slight movement and as a slight movable joint provides more support okay so this is the second type of the joint now we will discuss for the next one type of the joint that is what freely movable joint so let discuss the next type of the joint that is what freely movable joints so this freely movable joints are found in the most part of the body this freely movable joints again get further classified into the four types that are ball and socket joint hinge joint next one is there pivot joint and the last one is what gliding joint okay so these are the four parts or these are the four types of freely movable joints so from the name only will come to know freely movable means what these are the joints which allow the maximum movement okay this type of the joints helps to perform the body movement in all the or in most of the direction so all these types of the freely movable joints we are going to see deeply one by one so let's start the first type of the freely movable joint that is what ball and socket joint so in this type of the joint the but the one end or the ball like end of one bone gets fits into the socket like structure of another bone okay it means what the one bone who is having the ball like structure see now here i am having this marker so now uh, suppose that this marker is like a ball like structure okay and this structure will get fit into this socket or it can get or i can say this is my fist so it is the ball like or somehow circular structure so this one end or the ball like structure of one bone gets fixed into the socket like structure of another bone in this way okay in this way it can get fit and it can do the maximum movement this type of the joint provides the maximum movement in all direction okay so the one end of the bone is like a ball and another end of the bone is like a socket and it allows the movement in all the direction so in our previous video we have discussed about the types of the skeleton and in that we have discussed about the shoulder girdle and the hip girdle okay so in this way that shoulder girdle and the hip girdle is having the ball and socket joint so the examples of the ball and socket joint is what shoulder and 
heap okay so this is the first type of the freely movable joint that is what ball and socket and very important thing about the ball and socket joint is what they allows the maximum movement in all direction with the help of that we can move the direction in or everywhere means up and down left and right in this way everywhere for example we can say this this ball and socket joint is present in our shoulder in this way we can move our hand in all direction why because of this ball and socket joint okay next type of the freely movable joint that is what hinge joint okay hinge joint hinge joints are like a hinges which are present in the door which allows the movement only in one direction these hinge joints allow the movement only in the one direction that is up and down or back and front okay up and down we, with the help of this hinge joint we can do the movement up and down and back and front okay so in this way this is the hinge joint and in which body parts the hinge joints are present the hinge joints are present in elbow fingers knees and toes okay in this body parts the hinge joint is present next uh, let's discuss about the next joint in the freely movable joint that is pivot joint so this joint in our body where this joint is present in our body the joint is present in the neck region or the neck joints the head with the help of the joint the neck joints the head okay so pivot joint is the joint in our body where the neck joints our head with the help of this pivot joint the neck joints the head and it allows the very little movement it allows the very little movement and the example of this pivot joint we can say that what it is present in the neck region so with the help of the joint we can move our neck to the up and down and to the left and the right okay so it allows the little movement with the help of this we can do the up and down of the movement of our neck and also we can move the neck to the left and the right also so this is about what pivot joint which joins the neck to the head next one joint that is what gliding joint now gliding joint means what these are the joints which allow the little movement see this gliding joint also allows the movement in all the direction but how in a little manner okay so the gliding joint allows the mo little movement in all direction so in the joint what happen this type of the joint allows the bone to glide over each other which provides the direct movement in all direction okay so the two bones get glide over each other which allows the movement of the bone in all direction so this gliding joint provides the movement in all direction but what little movement in all direction so these gliding joints are present in the wrist carpels ankle and tarsals tarsals means what the bone where uh, the bone which is present in our foot the image is given in the book you can see with the help of that where is the tarsals okay so in this way these are the parts of the body where the gliding joint is present so all these are the different types of the freely movable joint okay so now let discuss about the next point from the lesson that is muscular cysty what is mean by muscular cysty and what it contain so muscular cysty what we are going to see in that we are going to discuss about the different muscles which are present in our body so as we know the bones are attached to each other through the ligament through the one type of the tissue that is what ligament see here very important concept is there bones are attached to each other with the help of the ligament while muscles are attached to the bones by a strong fibers called tendons okay see tendons and ligaments ligaments means what the bones are get attached to each other both bone or two bones are get attached to each other with the help of the ligament while the bones are attached to the muscles okay the bones are attached to the muscles with the help of the one fibers like material which is called as what tendons okay which is called as tendons so muscles are attached to the bones by strong fibers called tendons 
so number of the muscles are varies in the human body that it is varies from 656 to 800 in human body so the number of muscles varies from 656 to 800 in the human body next one there are 639 skeletal muscles in our body so there are the 639 skeletal muscles are present in the human body which are connected to the skeletal system there are how many muscles 639 skeletal muscles are present in our body so in this way these are there are the different types of the muscles which allows us to do the different types of the movement and the particular muscles are having particular function means each type of the muscles is not one type of the muscle is not doing all the different activities which are going on in our body so different muscles perform the different work perform the different functions this muscle help us to chew the food also they help us to uh, transfer the food in our elementary canal or in our digestive system also this muscle helps to beat our uh, heart okay so the beating of the heart is also with the help of the muscle our muscle helps to beating the heart so in this way there are the so many different functions are going on in our body with the help of the muscles sometimes these muscles get injured and the injury of the muscles of the bones is called as what sprain okay it is called as what sprain okay and sometimes this sprain is very painful also whenever we are using some pain reliever ointment or the uh, pain reliever tablet then we are getting relief from this sprain okay so sprain means what is the injury of the muscles so we will discuss how these muscles are exactly helps to do the movement of the bone see why these muscles are joined to the bone because bones alone cannot perform the movement to do the movement bones require the muscles so with the help of the muscles the bones can perform the movement with the without muscles the bones cannot perform any type of the movement so to do the movement bones require muscle so let's see how the muscles helps to perform the different or how the muscle help to perform the different movements in the body so what happen these muscles are attached to the bones with the help of the fibers called tendons so when when these muscles get contract okay when when these muscles get contract when it get contract with it it pulls the bone okay it pulls the bone but muscles can only pull the bone but to take that bones to back position to take that bones to its normal position it requires the another bone so what i said here keep in your mind or listen properly when the muscle get contract when the muscle get contract it pull the bones okay but it cannot push the bone back to its normal position to uh, get to push the bone back to its another position or to pull this muscle bone back to pull this bone back it requires the another muscle so this another muscle get release and helps that bones to come to its normal position okay so in this way two muscles can perform or two muscles are required for the proper movement of the bone so once the one muscle get contract it pull the bone and at that time what happened another one must another one muscle get released which helps to take that bones to its original position or to take it back okay so in this way what we can say that so what we can say that therefore when one muscle get contract it pulls the bone from the joint while the another muscle helps to pull it opposite direction or another muscle helps to bring it back to its normal position to pull it back to its normal position in this way what happened the two muscles can perform the or uh, two muscles works together to perform the movement so with the help of one activity we can come to know how exactly the muscles are doing the helps to do the movement or how the joints can do the movement with the help of the muscle so this activity you have to perform at 
home that is what activity number six okay so this is all about today today we have discussed about the joint types of joint and also we have discussed about the muscular system so this is all about today this is the time to tell you goodbye we will meet in the next video and for today thank you